In the Elder Scrolls Online, transmit crystals allow you to transmute and reconstruct gear. In other words, you can change the trade of your item or create an item entirely by spending transmute crystals at a transmute station. If you're a normal ESO player, then you likely consider transmute crystals to be a fairly desirable commodity. You may even go out of your way to participate in activities in ESO with the sole purpose of receiving transmute crystals, maybe even activities that you aren't fond of. Like PvP. Ew. Imagine PvPing. Oh, but if you're a weirdo like I am and you don't actually need any transmute crystals for anything and you already have an abundance of them and they're taking up precious inventory space, you might find yourself wondering what the f to do with all of them. Did you know that you can use transmute crystals to earn gold? It's true, and it's quite a simple process. Let me show you how. First, you want to make sure that you've researched the Nernhoned trait for a weapon of your choice. Then, you want to go ahead and craft a weapon without a trait. After you have crafted that weapon, head to your nearest transmute station to retransmute it to the Nernhoned trait. You can find the station in the Clockwork City and in most guild halls. You can also buy one for yourself with writ vouchers. Don't waste your crowns on it. Fortunately, transmuting an item doesn't actually require the trait stone itself. Interact with the station, select the weapon that you had crafted, and retransmute it to Nernhoned. This will set you back 50 transmutes, but now you have a Nernhoned weapon. You can then go ahead and deconstruct this weapon at the appropriate station to receive potent Nerncrux, the most expensive trait stone in the game. You can normally get Nerncrux from farming nodes in Craiglorn, and they're quite rare. This notion, coupled with the fact that Nernhoned is a fairly desirable trait to use in a lot of ESO content, explains its significant price point. You can use the mass crafting and deconstructing functions to speed up the process if you're looking to convert a lot of transmutes into Nerncrux. If you are in a trading guild, you can then sell this Nerncrux on your trader. Otherwise, you can try to sell it in zone chat or keep it to use for yourself, should you find yourself needing to craft Nernhoned weapons at any point. And that's all for today. I figured that on weeks that I am especially busy, like this week, I could just try to create these short ESO tips and tricks videos to tide you guys over until the next larger upload. Until then, I'll see you gamers on Discord or in-game. Cheers.